Take a trip, take a trip with me. Come take a trip, we're going out to see the bars. Come take a trip, take a trip with me. Come take a trip in Dick Dale's car. Go! Take a ride with me. Come take a ride, we won't have to go far. Come take a ride, take a ride with me. Reverend Horton meets Big Blue Car. Go! Take the dog, I'll take the Galaxy 500. You get the cat, I get the couch you don't want anymore. You take the fish, I'll take a bowl. You take the dishes while you're at it, take my soul. But things ain't so bad, cause I've got a Galaxy 500. Galaxy 1973 In my 
my own galaxy You probably would have wanted this too But it's not air conditioned No, it's not air conditioned No, it's not air conditioned No, it's not air conditioned Boy, it's all now That's like a rocket. That's rock and roll. At the party in your head, sure that sounds like fun. 
From Santa is to be on Daddy's knee. When cards and daggers come and monkeys must be fed, even Santa can't crash the party in your head. 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 Thank you. 
baddest of the bad since you've been gone. The baddest of the bad since you've been gone. I lay around here and I just drink beer. The baddest of the bad since you've been gone. Everything is bad, including me. But being bad is good policy. It protects me from your past till your memory's gone at last. Everything is bad, including me. Of the bad since you've been gone. The baddest of the bad since you've been gone. I lay around here and I just drink beer. The baddest of the bad since you've been gone. The baddest of the bad since you've been gone. The baddest of the bad since you've been gone. Where no one lives a cows and a few raccoons. I was riding around in my shoe, I was carving my baby and me underneath the stars. My engine was hot, but I knew it would quit real soon. I screws along about 95. I looked at my mirror and man alive. Some guy was getting on me as his engine roared. So I gave that holly carp some gas. My big red hat don't let it pass. Guess it's just a fish got bored. I had to race by fucking four. Spin. I knew this race was about to end. It's a cop I got. My engine can get no more. He threw me in jail alone and ignored my car. Blew up as the oil poured. Guess it's just a bitch got bored. I had to race my fucking Ford. It's my fucked up Ford, Jimbo. Yeah. It's my fucked up Ford, Jimbo. You can't play this thing.
And I'm satisfied
some car well, I love you so much it didn't get too far for 400 bucks you were sweet that day I guess it I should have known that you never repaid 400 bucks 400 bucks and you don't give a fuck a 57 sedan, and it's a mom and pop car, and now you're all over its back. Molly friends at the bar. Don't give a fuck about my water bag. Puppy dog, do your cat on the street, and now we're both fucked. But I'm a 400 bucks, 400 bucks, 400 bucks, and you don't give a fuck. So good in front of our house. Bitch, I want my four hundred dollars. I want my four hundred dollars, and I want it now. Give it to me. Yeah. Hey, thanks a lot. We're really flattered you came out tonight. It's great to be back in our hometown and have all you nice people show up. It's flattering. Thank you. We've had a lot of really great gigs in this room. Uh, I, can re I can remember one, we, we opened up for the Stray Cats. Remember that, Jimbo? And Jimbo was really excited about meeting the Stray Cats, and he had all this stuff he was going to get autographed. And then he got so wasted, he passed out on the sink in the, in the dressing room. Yeah, it didn't, didn't quite work out, did it? But we had a good time of what we can remember. But anyway, thanks to everybody. We got a great crew out here working for us. Thanks to all you guys with the cameras and Mike Drum and uh, Cardi Talkington. That guy that was up here introducing us, uh, he made a movie that we were uh, in. It was called Love in a 45, and it, it had Renee Zellweger and uh, Gil Bellows. And anyway, it, we, we really appreciate Cardi being out here and everybody, thanks for coming out. Yeah, we're, we're doing a song now that uh, is all about a great band from Dallas from about 10 years ago. They were called the Loco Gringos. And as much as being a band, a great band, they were also a whole lifestyle. It was, they all lived together at this place called Gringo Manor. And you could go to Gringo Manor at 5 a.m. or 5 p.m. 
and there would be a party going on. And they used to, they all had these big black dreadlocks that they wore these big sombreros and they drove around in this big bus that was painted like the Mexican flag and they were really a lot of fun and so uh, we're gonna do a little song called Loco Gringos Like a Party.
Are you okay, Jimbo? Okay, here's our DVD, Shot to Hell Now. Okay, we got a song here, it's off of one of our albums called Liquor in the Front. And at the, uh, at the end of this song, we're gonna enlist your help. We're, we're gonna try a cha-cha-cha ending. We want everybody to help us with this cha-cha. Yeah, that's what you, that cha-cha-cha. Anyway, so when we, we get to the end of the song, Jimbo's gonna make a funny face. Not yet, pretty funny already. But when he makes a funny face, that's your cue for the said cha-cha-cha ending. That's, that's good, good. All right. Three, four. Late at night, and you're sleeping. You'll hear my lonesome call, and you'll feel my waiting lips barely touching you at all. But it's only as real as any dream can seem. I'll see you in your wildest dream. A thousand miles, though I may be now, I'm before you on my knee. But a million miles can't erase the love you have for me. A million miles, it seems, but you can feel my love like deep. I'll see you. In your wildest dream, I'll see you. You'll see me as though I were real. I'll see you. You'll see me as though you could feel my breath on your neck, the touch of my hand. You'll I'll see you in your wildest dreams. Thank you so much. That really helps us out a lot. All right, we love those cha-cha-cha things. Yeah, okay, we're gonna do a song now off of our first album entitled Smoke Em If You Got Em. All right, Scott Chirilla starts this one off, let her rip.
marijuana. Marijuana! 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 No! Not that! What are you doing? I'm freaking out! Stop it! Jimbo, stop it! We're gonna have to send you to Betty Clinic! Here, give me that! Nobody got two islands and a couple of lines. Cause that means it's martini time. <laughs> Team martinis in front of the wall. I didn't even ask what care they cost. I lost my job and no reason to rhyme. Cause that means it's martini time, it's martini time. Martini time, martini time. Perfectly four kids out of the wine. Dirty tie up bar in between. From the very first sip, you know what I mean. When you're out of the bay, you don't nickel or die. Guess what that means? It's martini time, it's martini time. Martini time. 
to introduce you a very dear friend of mine he's a guy who once beat the crap out of me and sent me to the hospital for 30 stitches on my face don't clap for that he's the guy in the band most likely to go out and build his own log cabin. He's the guy in the band who is America's foremost truck stop knick-knack shopper. He's the guy in the band most likely to party all night long and then have the nerve to call me up at 9 a.m. because Martha Stewart is making water from scratch. He's all the way from Mui Fabulosa, Deer Park, Texas, where they're turning napalm into energy for tomorrow. It's the Michael Landon of the Rockabilly World, Mr. Excitement himself with the Big Mouth Bass. Let's have a warm Big D welcome for Nature Boy Jimbo. Okay, we need your help on this one too. It's called the Jimbo Song.
Sunset lights the sky. Their shadow over me. Black clouds in the heat. And there's twister underneath. A long black limousine. And there's demon at the wheel. Slice Satan's in the back Says he wants to make a deal If I think Mr. Sins right here But there's no one to be seen Coming up my rear view mirror Is all Slice Satan's limousine You sell your soul to the devil You give me everything you see When the devil comes collecting You're gonna be paid for eternity The devil's chasing me. Devil, roll your window down and look me in the eye. No, I did not make no deal. So don't go ain't no need to die He's got a red and black tuxedo He's got a hellhound down on his knee He's got a fire beat the demon driver Who is like the same kind of thing He's got a black goatee and handling a teeth And a rattlesnake on his sleeve He's got a of red boots with diamond studs And a smile meant to deceive The devil's chasing me
Thanks a lot, y'all. Adios. Hey, thanks again. Y'all were great. We appreciate it. Thanks. Ooh, all right. It's a Psycho Billy freak out. Bellum just today, friends, walking around minding my own business, thinking good and pure and clean thoughts like I always think, when I met the nicest young lady. Friends, this young lady was smart. She was beautiful. She was stylish. That's why when she bent over to pick up that beer on the ground and reveal that tattoo on her back, I nearly died. I nearly died because you know where I come from, beautiful Dallas, Texas, home of God's team, the Dallas Cowboys. Where I come from in Dallas, Texas, what we believe is this. We believe if you're a girl and you have a tattoo, you're going straight to hell. That's what we believe. But friends, right, right at that moment, I had a revelation. It came over my body like a wave. It hit me like 16 tons of lead. 
it crystallized in my little mind. I knew that I was in for a healing tonight in Deep Ellum. Can I get a hallelujah? Can I get a hallelujah? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can feel it down into my loins. But we won't go there. So anyway, friends, I, I invited her back to my very special prayer closet I keep backstage at each and every one of our gigs just for emergencies like this one. And no sooner as we closed the door to that prayer closet, she said, well, Reverend, if you think that's bad, you should see this one. And she started to pulling down those tight 501 mini shorts down lower across that tight, tanned baby hair growing belly of hers lower and lower, and I was losing my breath. And, and she revealed a, revealed a tattoo, it was a tattoo of a devil, a devil with, with, with big red, red eyes, not unlike my own. And, and a big red nose, not unlike Bill Clinton's or something. And, and, I, and, and I was kind of looking down at this tattoo and I was getting dizzy and I, I looked up at her head and her head started to kind of, she was getting bigger and she was getting all pumped up like Arnold Schwarzenegger. And she was getting huge and she was filling out the whole room and the next thing I know, she's getting as big as a balloon and she was about to take up all the air in the prayer closet when all of a sudden she popped. And I looked around, and I looked down, and friends, there was nothing left of her but a little blob on the floor. A little blob on the floor. So I fell to my knees, and I looked up at the heavens, and I asked, please, 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 heal this blob. And about that time, I looked down, and the blob started kind of getting this swirly bowling ball looking finish. And it, kind of started turning counterclockwise slowly and slowly. Then it started to bubble. Then it started to gurgle. And the next thing I know, rising up out of the muck, just like a something out of the movie Alien, was, was the craziest thing I ever saw. And I looked at it, and it was my very own bass player, Jimbo Wallace. And he got, he was getting big. He got tall. He got as, as high as a building. He got as tall as a skyscraper. He got as big as a mountain. And the next thing I know, his head started to spin around and around and around and around like the exorcist or something. And his eyeballs spit out of his head 375 feet in the air and bounced right back like he had rubber bands for eye sockets. And he looked down at me and he said, Reverend, it's a psychobilly freak out. No, driving this box, that's a zip little go. Drive the red rocket, that's a look of dying. She goes up, 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 and overdrive. Let's go. Right in the mountains above, it's low. My big red rocket, oh, 
We're forgetting about something here. I can't, really, I can't remember what we're forgetting. Oh, yeah. He's the guy in the band who drives a 1970 Pontiac GTO convertible, the judge. He's the guy in the band most likely to enjoy ice fishing. He's the guy in the band most likely to subscribe to Cat Fancy Magazine. Nah, I just made that up. Well, not just, but anyway. He's on the way from Mui Fabulosa, Clown Point, I mean Crown Point, Indiana, where John Dillinger escaped from jail with a fake pistol. It's the Indiana Playboy himself. Let's have a warm Big D welcome for Chicago Scott Shirilla.
Okay, let's not forget. When I look at this man, have you ever seen the TV show Little House on the Prairie? Bonanza. Anyway, he's all the way from Nui Fabulosa Deer Park. Actually, he's the slap happy bass master from Houston himself, Nature Boy Jimbo Wallace. Thanks a lot, y'all. We love you here in Dallas. Thanks for coming out. We love you. Adios.